woodlands and the rivers are calling out to me. It's the country that I live for, the place I long to be. Come with us, we'll take you on adventures by the score. We're the sportsmen of Newfoundland and Labrador. My, oh my. There ain't the honey hole. You can't. Oh! Oh, gee, they're getting the feeding frenzy. I just had one then, too, would I? You got one there now, have you? Yeah. Gee. We're gonna keep some for, uh, for a meal. Spunky. There you go. Score now, Pop? I don't know. I think I'm in the lead. Pop, do you know? Yeah, you're in the lead. You're in the lead by one. You got 6-5, man. Oh, oh. <laughs> double header, buddy. Oh. I lost mine. I lost it. That was our first double header, too, eh? Oh! Gone? Yeah. Oh, my. Double header, double loss. Yeah, double header, double loss. And there we go. Another. There we go, Jakey. You're hot, you're hot, hey. Oh. Hey, what was that? Okay. Well, is that Oh, I think he's a he's a beaut, I think he's a keeper. Uh, he's a big one, isn't he? Yeah. Oh. oh! Too much stress on him. Did he take your? Did he take your fly? No. Oh, just look at the shank. Make sure it's not all bent up. Oh uh, yeah, that was a that was a nice fish, but. Let him run, don't. They're powerful fighters, but if he wants to run, let him run a bit, right? Oh, gee, the school is back. Hey, ah. Oh. <laughs> yes, I do. What's up for your line, Jake? Oh my god, this, oh my god, look at the size of it. He's giving my, oh, the pretty colors in that, eh? Pretty, pretty colors in that. He's almost into his spawning colors already. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, and they sound or what? <laughs> Music to my ears. Oh. Nah. I love the classic reels by Loop because off the click that it makes. Now they've got some other great reels, Opti Strikes, Opti Runners, and that, that are nice and stylish looking and sleek. And they'll make the clicking noise, but when a salmon or a chair runs and you hear meow, sweet. I've only got a small hook on. 
relatively small, size 10. You want to have that straightened out? Watch out, Jake. <laughs> he wants to head to sea. <laughs> I like head stop. Oh. What a fish. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's a 10 pounder, eh? I would say. Oh. Gee, buddy. Man, I've never had any iron, I don't think. But, you know, pound for pound, that with as much fight up as this guy. This guy is. Huh? You got a glove? I got myself You don't have a glove. Just, man, oh man. Oh, watch out for your poles, eh? Look at that man, oh gee. What a dandy fish, eh? Here, take my pole, will you please? Man, oh man, what a dandy fish. Now, we're bringing, oh, gee, you bit me. One back for, for the table, and I think it's gonna be this one. That's something. Jim, uh, I guess it's sort of special today up here on your birthday. This is uh, a time a year ago today you were here with your Uncle Cal, hey? Yeah, we were here at this very location with uh, Uncle Calvin and my dad, Vince, and uh, we had a very special day. And uh, like today, yeah. a lot of fish here. A lot of fish. It's It's been uh, treating us really well since we've been here so far. I've gotten my biggest chair ever about half an hour ago. and. My grandson, Jakey, he's after doing well this morning. He's actually leading me in count. <laughs> yeah, I've noticed that. Jake was out uh, hooking up a lot. Yeah, yeah already charred. Rubs it Strong in. fish. Yeah, hey, Jake. even the small ones, right? Well, Not... they put some to fight no what size there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, now, we're here because uh, our friends with Atlantic River Outfitting, they were gracious enough to allow us to come up here and fish. We're, Jim's an outfitter and their outfitters, they actually have the lease on this particular right. area, right? Yeah, that's right, yeah, exactly. So we're here under their friendship, and uh, I really want to thank them for that. You know, prior to that, now you and I have been here many, many times over the years, and the fishing has always been fantastic. Yeah, you know, you're right. The, the Arctic char migrate in about eight miles from here, from the ocean, and they congregate here in this little stream and in that channel. Yeah flows out into the lake. And of course, uh, we're here today using barbless single hooks, doing our fly fishing, and it's been some great action. Terrific action, yeah. terrific action. Yeah, absolutely. Now we're gonna keep a couple now for a meal later on. We're gonna take a couple back to the lodge but, uh, and uh, we'll fry those up. Yeah, well, we've just sat down and had a quick little lunch. I think some of us gobbled it down because we're anxious to get back out fishing. <laughs> But that's okay. You're not going to come here every day, so you're allowed to fish as much as you want. And nothing pleases Pop and Jim more than to see a young man of your stature catching these fish. That's right. Do, exactly. you, do you miss your girlfriend? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I miss her big time. Yeah. It's, a, uh, it's a wonderful resource here for some Dwight, uh, our family, and I know Newfoundland sportsmen are great stewards of the environment and the resource. We're coming in, we're catching and releasing 90% yep. uh, plus of the fish that we're yep. hooking up today. Um, but it's nice to take a couple back. I think that's a, that's a wonderful thing. And, you know, sure is, if the resource can withstand it. And yeah, uh, there's nothing wrong with taking, taking a couple back. Same with salmon, the only salmon numbers are down now, so it's probably better just to catch and release and do it properly. But and the resource can stand it, why not? Yeah, well, you know, it's change, and change wants to happen, and right now we're seeing some low numbers on Atlantic salmon, mm -hmm. and I think the catch and release policy that was just implemented is, is really a good thing. Well, a resource, and for future generations like Jake and his, exactly. his grandchildren to come up and be able to catch some Atlantic salmon later, right? Well, you know how well it worked at your lodges. 
you know, we've policies that you implemented years ago. Yeah. Sam came back, bigger numbers, bigger size. Yeah, that's for sure. We've been catch and release now for over two decades. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, you know, the results have been amazing. Well, you got one on. Still got a bit of fight left on. It looks like a nice size too. Yeah. Nice fish, hey? Wow, nice colors. That's good, boy. Now, just hang on, Tom. Hold him up for the camera there, Jake. Look, my first Arctic chair in Chair Lake. Pretty good, hey? What a team we make. <laughs> Fish. I get the hook out that could be another one for uh, for the table, I think. We need a couple. Red bleeder, eh? Oh yeah, took it good. Nice fish, Jim. Yeah, he's on a five weight. And a five weight. Wow, wow. It's not a real big char, but it is a uh, very special char. It's a silver hardy char. Like that, all that. Yeah. That's a spunk yet. Yeah. Like that, all that. It's almost like a salmon. Beauty. Oh, gee, wow. Nice fish. Yeah. Fish, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. Candy, candy, <laughs> candy. What a birthday gift you got, Jim. What's silver, eh? Look at all the yeah. beautiful uh, silver tones on the fish. And just, you know, it's, it's yeah, th th this fish is not long in from the ocean. Um, in here to breed and, yeah. All the radar. Danny. Nice Actually, fish. Keep that one. Huh? Yeah. yeah we'll that. That'd be a, a different taste of fish. Wait, yeah. hang on. Let's do another one. And Jimmy's hooked up. Where's, where's Happy birthday Happy to you! Where's the glove tail? Oh geez, I got one now. Yes, triple hooker. Like it, don't it? Yeah, they're all silver now. Yeah, that was yeah. Mine's silver too. Mine's silver too. Yeah, yeah Rona's silver ones must have came in. Oh, you had that home. 
He's nice size, but looks fun. Let me get the big ones. Let's get a big one. He didn't know it was a good spot here. Happy birthday, pal. What birthday gift? That's something over the other birthday. That's a strong fish, man. That's a nice fish. <laughs> You should join the Remax team right here at Char Lake. We can set up our own Sign office. We can set up our own office right here over by the beaver. What do you think? Sign me up. Beauty fish. Six pound fish, I'd say. Hey. Yeah, I'd say it's about six pounds. At least six. Yeah. yeah. Let me vibe a little bit. Around. Yes. That water's cold, eh? That water's cold. Yeah. She's ready to go. Yes. Look at that. There she goes. And they. Oh yeah. Go oh. for the deep. Like a uh, bullet. Happy birthday again. Yes, happy wow. birthday. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm going to go in. And, uh, Just give us a chance. Okay? I'm going to look. strikes there, I finally hooked one. That's funny where they're back down towards that honey hole that you had to be. How's that? So you, you got that one down by my honey hole. I did. I did. They're still down there. to take, wouldn't it? <laughs> Why some beautiful chair here, boy? It's a male. It's a male, eh? Getting into his spawning colors. Oh. See, Jakey boy? Uh, lucky touch. What I've got. Keep that one. 
Have a look at him, Jake. Oh yeah. Oh, nice. Gorgeous, eh? Jake with a fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, this nice one. Jim's in there. We're, we'll have supper tonight with those. Hey, bye. About 2 30, so we're not going to be here much longer now, anyway. Out. He wants to go around 3, don't he? So, you know, when uh, when you're getting fish like that, you hate to leave, don't you? Definitely, definitely. But I don't want to stay too many beer tracks around that shore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Jake, you ready to go? It's a nice, nice one. one. <laughs> Oh yeah, she's a nice size this one is. Yeah. The feel of it. Haven't seen him I haven't seen him yet. Yeah, time, How many seconds so far today? I don't know, at least a dozen. I would say. Oh yeah, that looks like a good one. That's probably your biggest one today, hey? I had to come over and witness this. Oh yeah, nice big tail on it, hey? It's a nice fish. Some chair here, hey? Oh, well, they're everywhere here. Yeah. Nice fish. Nice one, yeah. That's a good one, buddy. Have a shake hands with him. <laughs> Let him go. Oh, I got another one. Watch him taking off. Got another one here now. It's a big one. Nice fish. And let's head back. Yeah. Andy. What a way to finish today, buddy. Congratulations. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. Our successful char fishing trip is now over. Uh, this young man here, it's been an absolute pleasure being with him the past week, my grandson Jake. He's been the furthest north that you've ever been. You've caught chair that you never caught before. So what do you think of it all? I think the chair, I think they fought the same, if not better than, or harder than salmon. Well, I agree with you. You know, I've been saying that for years. They're not as aerobatic as the salmon is, but man, when they pull your line out, they'll strip you into your backing in no time at all. You know, we've had a, a gorgeous week up here. Weather has been probably the best it's been in Labrador all summer long. And not only that, Roseanne Felix, our cook at the lodge, you and I are going back with extra weight on, right? <laughs> now you could need it. And the beauty about being up here, this guy had Wi-Fi, so he could talk to his girlfriend, Andy, as much as he wanted on Snapchat, right? Yeah. You didn't miss that part of it at all, did you? Never missed a beat. I want to thank my good buddy Jim Burton for inviting me on this trip and for flying us up to Chair Lake and getting all those big, beautiful chair that we got. I want to thank uh, my other buddy Bob Whitten for accompanying me on this trip and helping me to film the couple of shows that we just did. We've had a blast every time we go out, particularly with this young man. I really enjoy it. Gives me lots of memories, and I'm sure you too, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's show. Catch me again next week, and I'm going to bring you some more exciting action right here in Newfoundland and Labrador.